how to build some floor pans and some firewall on our custom tube chassis drag truck. What up guys, my name is Eric and in today's video we're going to be building some custom floor pans and firewall and everything else in between to button up our tube chassis uh, whitey build, the twin turbo drag truss. We've already got started on it on our pedal box area, steering column, brake booster, all that stuff. Let me turn off the welder here, our beautiful YES welder! 250 MIG Pro blasting in the super thin sheet metal, but at the same time blasting in the thick stuff all really well. So, uh, yeah. So we started put, blasting in this pedal box right here so you guys can see we got it all like tack, 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 and most of it is done. And then we're ready to do floor pans, other fender walls. But uh, we started doing this without recording because I kind of wanted to get a hang of this metal working and what, how to weld it because I've never really done this stuff before. I've done body work and stuff, but I've never actually like built my own panels and how to like overlay it and stuff and bend stuff. So we found out what works best is to actually uh, bend it over and weld it. So this panel goes out to about where this uh, crease is. And then we bent it and put it over and tack well that because we're having problems when we're buttoning the two pieces up of blowing the pieces out like you can see up here it's starting to blow out a little bit but it was 10 times worse because it was just such thin sheet metal that we have to do it like this So we got this panel fully tack welded into place so you guys saw um, why we're tack welding and not fully welding is because this metal is so thin plus this is just sheet metal this isn't structural metal this will all be seam sealed so we don't let water in this is just for somewhere so we have a firewall from safety and the oem all they do is spot weld stuff and this is doing the same thing and it's actually pretty strong for what it is but the next part we're going to get rid of is we have a little oil canning happening on some of our panels and that's what oil canning is especially this guy would be really annoying because our brake booster hooks right up to it so um right here's actually not bad i think i might just leave that one but this one is definitely really bad so to find where we're gonna fix this is what we're gonna do is heat it up and then cool it down really fast and it makes the metal shrink so we're gonna find where it is in the canning and all you have to do is you take your knuckle and wherever you find that it does oil canning super easy with your knuckle, right there, that's where you're gonna want to heat it up and cool it down. So we got map gas torch. Heat it up right where I thought <laughs> was oil canning. So I guess you see it gets red hot pretty quick and then we're going to cool it down. So you guys saw me try to get the tin canning out of this, which we got some of it out, but like if you still push it, still tin cans a little bit. And I think if we sat there and heated it up and kept doing that, we could probably get it all out of there, but we're not gonna worry about it because right where the booster push, it doesn't thud at all. So that's okay. So we're gonna leave that, but that also brings up a big issue because we're gonna have some big panels right there because that's just gonna be a big flat panel right there. The um, doghouse is gonna be a big panel. Down here will be a big panel. And if these little panels are oil canning, that means those panels are probably gonna oil can. So we're gonna have to get a bead roller. Bought this Northern Tool bead roller um, because we got gift cards to Northern Tool. And you know, balling on a budget over here. But 
I think we need to add a little grease to her, she's kind of crusty. And a lot of these Allen colors are super loose, so, you know, like great build quality from the beginning. So what the bead roller is going to do is it's going to actually dimple or put a little bend or hump in our metal itself so that keeps it from oil canning or flexing it actually stiffens the panel up as well we got a bunch of different dies in our box here all different sorts of them uh ones that you could just raise the middle of the panel other ones where you just put a bead in like this one bigger beads smaller beads so we're gonna do some test pieces right now because i've never bead rolled some thing so we're gonna try it out Oh wow, this is why we do a test piece, but look at that dimple, that's pretty cool. Look how raised that is. And this panel's super good to like this. Can't do that anymore, and that's because of that dimple, so. So we're bead rolling this panel because of this. See how flimsy and loose this thing is. And we'll see it after we're done bead rolling how tight. Look at that, we have a warped panel. So we'll have to flatten this. But you can see now, it doesn't do that. It's very sturdy, but we're gonna have to flatten it out, obviously. But you can see our raised panel, or we'll have a dimple panel, whatever way we decide to go. See, no more oil canning. Just go ding, 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 ding. That's a very solid panel. Sweet. So the dimple die works. But there's no doo -doo 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 -doo, like over here. Like that. Yeah, we ain't got that nowhere here. So. The die is dope. Now we just got a million other panels to do.